So we often talk about the jet stream and our weather patterns follow that upper level wind flow. It's kind of like a roller coaster. The storms go where the jet stream takes them. Well, so does the wildfire smoke. And we've had an abundance of it in uh, northern BC, northern Alberta, up in the Yukon, Northwest Territories. So this was August 19th. This is a satellite shot. You can actually see the smoke sort of wrapping in around this area of low pressure. Um, and you can see where that smoke is, but it's it's kind of getting wrapped up in the storm. There we go, play that out for you. Pretty incredible uh, visual to see. But while that was happening here in Canada, we actually had smoke making its way all the way across the Atlantic Ocean into Ireland, 4,000 kilometers away. This was courtesy of uh, bad weather stations on, on uh, X. And thank you for letting us show this. That's a beautiful sunset but it is full of smoke, obviously. And so I thought I'd look into this. This is um, uh, courtesy of an agency in Europe, uh, Copernicus. Look at all of those aerosols, those particulate matter being brought right over the Atlantic the last five days or so right into Europe. And again, if we just isolate the jet stream into the next four or five days, you can see that blue sort of collection of particulate matter is still going to be moving across the Atlantic again. Now, it's not going to be as thick, but we are watching for another round right into the UK, into Ireland potentially, on Sunday. There you go. You can see it right there. So obviously some poor air quality and anyone with breathing conditions needs to um, be extra careful, but pretty impressive uh, route for our wildfire smoke in Canada all the way to Europe.